Well, thank you, everybody, for joining today's Teams in 20. Good afternoon. Today, we are going to go a little bit deeper than we might do uh, usually and have a look at some automation. And we have the privilege of having the awesome Stuart Ridd out with us today. <laughs> you may have uh, seen him before if you're a follower of the uh, Productivity Coach YouTube, uh, but Stuart is an, an awesome teacher, coach and everything to do with Power Platform. So we're in good company today. So as the wonderful Joe said, we're doing more with less with workflows today. So I, I am... I'm aware that I've got a ticking clock here, so I'm going to go super quickly. I'm not going to have very many slides. Um, I'm really going to try and just get on with it. But I, I want people to, so today we're going to be talking about Power Automate. And people hear Power Automate and they go, oh, I'm scared. Oh, that sounds scary. That sounds weird. Um, but we want people to start to own their own productivity in Microsoft 365 using the Power Platform. And lots of people are really comfortable setting up their own Outlook rules that are tailored to their repetitive tasks. So you might go, oh, when that email comes in from that invoice with that person, then I go and file it into this folder and things like this. And I want people to start to change their mindset to think about it like this, because people get a bit, they get a bit heads up with, with Power Automate flows and things. And they go, oh, what if the person leaves? And what happens to the flow then and stuff like this? But actually, what I'm going to show you today are things that just impact me. So if I leave, then they just impact me because I'm the only person who was doing that in the first place. Um, so it's about it's a bit of a mindset shift there. But the great thing is that anyone can set them up. So what could you automate? Basically, there's a list of questions here. If you can answer those, then yes, then that's an opportunity for you to increase your productivity. So is there something you do over and over again in Teams? Yes automate it. Do you switch between Teams and other apps to check for updates? Yes, let's do that. Do you copy from one place to another place or are you getting app notifications in emails that you'd rather get in Teams? Do you post the same questions or the same content over and over again? You know, weekly status updates, welcoming people to a team, things like this. All of those things, they are all right for automation. Um, and when I talk about this, Oh, I'm going to yeah, yeah. When I talk about this, I talk about it in two lenses. So one, could you save yourself five minutes by using some kind of workflow? If you can save yourself five minutes with a workflow, then you can do something new. So you can do a, a new a new thing, a new type of automation. So by re, uh, automating stuff that you already do, you can actually be more productive and do more stuff. And, uh, and be generally awesome. The great news is it's built into Teams. They don't need, there's nothing for you, nothing for them to do to install it. There's nothing for admins to do, any of that stuff. It's all built right in. Uh, and you could find this right now. So I'm going to show you. So it's really easy. So if you go to Teams, where the app store is, down the bottom, there's this item that says workflows. Lots of people probably won't even have seen it. And there's loads of different workflows that are in that. They're all kind of editors picks, they're uh, curated ones there. There are different categories, things like this. So really, really great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm, Joe, I'm going to pick on you. So you're going to have to come back. You can't just, you, you can't just hide away now for this meeting. So I've got some five uh, workflows here, which I've picked which I think uh, are things that people do all the time that we might, might want to do. So I'd like you to pick one and we'll, and we'll go down that. So we've got follow up a, a follow up reminder for a message. So if you've got a message you want to come back to later, how do you remind yourself of that? Create a planner task when a post starts with to do or notify a team when a planner task start status changes, uh, forward emails in a folder to a channel or notify a channel that you'll be out of office. Which of those grabs you? Um. I am getting on in years a little bit. I always like to I need a sure. bit of a reminder. So, yeah, uh, follow up. Uh, as you see these great posts and stuff, and I think oh, I'm, I'm going to need to do an activity on the back of that. And then I forget. So brilliant. That would be great. See, you didn't know there was audience participation. I didn't. Tell no, you. I didn't. Thanks for this. So, <laughs> so this is where you need to come back to a message later where something happens and you want to go, oh, come back to this. So previously people used. Um, like the save post um, and and uh, and to do that. And actually, you can do it in Teams here. So it's really, really easy. So you need to go to the store. You go follow up on a message. You just click sign in. You do add workflow. And then you just click on the message here. 
you go to more options, and do follow up with a message, say when you, when you want to have the reminder, and then it sends you a message. So let's have a little look, because I rattled through that then. And I'm just looking for the right, there it is. This is the one I want, okay. So let's just come out of here and just go into a different team, okay. So as I say, I go to apps here, okay. And I go to workflows, okay. And I've got this one here, follow up on a message. So I'm gonna click on this. Okay, um, now this these should have little ticks next to them. So I'm going to click sign in and it just goes and validates that. So sometimes you might need to just do sign in again. Once you're all ticked, you're all good to go. So I do add workflow. Okay, that's that literally is it. That's it. And it says down here, Power Automate just sent me a card just to say it done. So that's it. And I do done. If I go to my chat, then I can see that it says sent a card here and it says your flow is ready to be run. So then when you're browsing through your team, so let's find one here. Uh, I haven't even got one. Oh, this was this was the worst place to demo this. Let's just so here, so do your training. So let's say that someone's posted a message that says, do your training, okay? Then all I need to do is hover over it, click on that dot, dot, dot. I go down to more actions, okay? And it says here, follow up on a message. Click on that. And when do you want to be reminded? So I want to be reminded then, and I want to be reminded at 12, 11 am i just i'm going to get just in time that do it hopefully hopefully i'll, I'll just got that in in time or maybe so then that's it and then you go off about your merry little way and then when 12 11 comes along it will just send me a reminder so i'm just gonna just click into a different team as well and what it does is it comes up here into your activity feed so just as a notification uh, for you so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that to run in the background and I'm going to go up. Oh, there we go. There you go. And it says here, follow up on a message. And if I go to activity, it's here. And actually, if you click on it, it takes you to the right place in the right post. Um, and if you keep kicking the can down the road, you could just do it again. You could just do it and keep doing follow up on a message um, or, or you just do it. So it's just a nice way to remind you to come back to something. So that is that. Uh, I like this one. I'm going to do this one. Notify a channel that you'll be out of office. This is a really great one. So, you know, sometimes where we uh, send uh, calendar notifications to everyone in our team to say, oh, I'm going to be in Barbados for two weeks. Um, and it just fills up everybody's calendar with your Barbados for two weeks type thing. And then people don't really remember. This is a great one here because what it does is it, it sends a message to people in real time to say, oh, just a reminder, Stuart's on holiday in Barbados for two weeks uh, in a few days. But it also sets all of your team statuses. It does out of office things, all of all of that kind of stuff there. So it's really, really great. So again, go to remote work, notify a channel, you'll be out of office, sign in and you just pick from the drop downs here. What team do you want to notify? What channel do you want to notify? And it's done. There we go. Let's have a look. Let's see how easy it is. So I'm going to go to apps here. Okay, I'm going to go to workflows again. I'm going to go for remote work. Notify a channel, you'll be out of office. Okay, click sign in. Okay. Wait till I've got the ticky tick. There we go. Great. Then just pick what you want. So which calendar? So it's going to go in my calendar. Which team am I going to let know? I'm going to say the Champions app team. And general. There you go. Add workflow. Okay. And again, done. That is the limit to the configuration that you need to do here. Okay. So then when time comes to it, or, or actually in advance. So let's say here that, um, oh, there we go. 
And what we can do is we can just go down here where there's, there's like these little three blobby things. You go to the workflows there and you can actually do it anywhere. But say notify a channel you'll be out of office. OK, and it's going to start from, uh, let's say it's going to start from tomorrow. Let's have two weeks. Go, okay, what's my status message? I'm on holiday in... Barbados. I wish I was going on holiday to Barbados. Uh, uh, contact Joe Johnston with all requests as she is happily picking up my workload. There you go. Um, so here, sorry, but I'm on holiday. Contact Joe. Okay, and I can at mention people in that. So let's say, oh no, Joe doesn't exist in. The, but if Joe was in this tenant, it's in this demo tenant here, then I could at mention here, so she gets that notification, and then I click submit, and I say the bottom on there. So I said, how many days in advance do you do it? And then when that time comes around, um, they go. See, it's automatically posted that out. So I could set it like in a few weeks, and then just set it and forget it, and then. Like maybe a week before, it's just going to say, just a reminder for everyone, Stuart's going to be out from the 8th of the 6th to the 22nd of the 6th. OK, but again, as we just show here, if I go to my um, if I go to my email, go to this, there we go. if I go to my mail as well. And I go to my calendar. And you can see here that it's actually automatically um, it's automatically blocked out my calendar. Ooh, here and that. Ah, dear me. There we go. It's automatically blocked out my calendar here. So it's put the it's put the out of office response in there. It's put the text in there. So really, really, it's blocked my calendar out. Really, really easy to automate that little step for people. Right. I'm I'm conscious of time. So what I'm going to do. But there's great ones here, like creating this plan of task automatically is a fantastic one. We're going to uh, give you access to this deck and all of these decks got these decks have got all animations in that show people how all of this works. So it's it's a great one here. OK, and what I'm going to do. So those are all the save five. So these are things that people are typically already doing. Let's just whiz through those. And then here, these are the power five minute ones here. So these are ones that say, um, these are, are new things that people might not already be doing. So, for instance, it could be things like welcome a team member. So when somebody gets added to a team, then you can send them a message to say welcome to the team. So here, all you do is look for this in that workflow place, say the team, the channel. It got a templated message already. But then here you can see when I add Nesta to it. A few minutes later, it posts a message and says, Hey everyone, welcome Nesto who's going to be joining at this role, etc. And you can see it's picked up things like his job title um, and, and his office location and stuff. It's all come out of there from that. So this is a really nice way to A, make somebody feel really welcome, B, maybe give them some onboarding uh, information. So like maybe welcome to Nesta. Um, please take a moment to look at our resources for this. Uh, and, and things like this. So all of those, uh, so it's a great way to kind of make people feel welcome. This one I love is forms to approval. So people submit things in Microsoft Forms, but then it kind of almost can languish or get forgotten about. So here in my example, I've got an IT device request form. And what it does is it uses approvals to send it to someone to get them to approve. So I say, what do I want? What's the justification? Blah, 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 blah. And then what happens is in Teams, it sends the approval to the person and then they can say yes or no. Um, and then you could even kind of build on top of that and go into a SharePoint list or or things like this. So this is a really great one. Customer service might use this, IT, things like this. Um, similarly, again, you could do this one here when approval is added to a SharePoint. So maybe you have like a project management type thing. 
and um, if, a, if a spec or a document or something like this gets added into a SharePoint li library, we say, which site are we going to monitor and things like this? And when that file goes in, let's say that this, this one goes in here, it sends one again to somebody just to approve it and say, is this OK? Can we issue this one? So if you think about it from a project manager lens, they normally do all of these things where they send, e send it off to someone in email and then they have to screenshot their emails and then put that in a document. Here, all of those approvals are kept in a central register. So really, really cracking. Joe, how much longer have I got? Am I, am I coming up for time? I'm noticing. You've got, you've got one minute. One minute. One minute. OK, so great other thing. Really encourage people to look at this one. This is about Power BI alerts. So if you uh, use Power BI, which you should be, because it's awesome, uh, you can actually set alerts in Power BI. So like, has our revenue got to X amount of million? And what you can do is you can set it that when that alert triggers, so if you're waiting for that to happen, then it sends a notice to everyone to say, hey, everyone, we just hit 100 million pounds or whatever. And um, I would, I definitely would recommend people to use uh, alerts and stuff because it's really, really cracking. So what I'm just challenging people to do, go to the Teams App Store, add one save five minutes workflow, save yourself some time, so then go and add the power five minutes workflow to do something brand new to increase your productivity. And then just kind of go and look for where further workflow automations are. Um, I know I'm going to get told off by Joe for going over the time, but what's really great as well is if you're learning Power Automate, you can actually go to that Power Automate app. And any Power Automates that you've set up, so here like follow up on a message or notify a channel you'll be out of office, you can actually go in and edit the template. So if you want to learn and kind of go, oh, how did that work? Or what happened there and stuff like this? You can go through and see all of that great practice. So it's a really great way to learn what fantastic Power Automate uh, flows look like as well. So that is my Teams in 20. Um, there are some great resources here, one on how you install the Power Automate app, and then one about how you can create flows in Microsoft Teams and build up on this yourself. Just a reminder of, of next week's session is about colleague appreciation. Um, very looking forward to, to that. Our amazing Carrie Hollis is going to be joining us. And then that is it. So next slide, outro music. We are done for today. Um, hopefully you uh, got something from that. If you've got any questions, do put them in the chat. We will come and have a look at those later. But thanks so much for joining us today and have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you. Thanks, Stuart. Thank you.